Gregory Wrightstone here. We're going to talk about greenhouse gases and how they're represented, or more accurately, how they're misrepresented by institutions, the media, organizations that are promoting man-made catastrophic warming. Uh, the main mis misrepresentation we see is they completely ignore the primary greenhouse gas, and that's water vapor, and it's the primary one by far. For example, if we go to the National Geographic website here, we find that their definition of greenhouse gases avoids any mention of water vapor. Certainly they identify carbon dioxide and other trace uh, molecules, uh, but again, uh, no mention of water vapor. And this leads us to our first inconvenient fact, and that is that carbon dioxide is not the primary greenhouse gas. In the discussion about greenhouse gases, Many of the organizations like National Geographic, uh, Natural Resources Defense Council and their like, uh, and also their allies in the media, focus solely on the man-made gases as the main agents of greenhouse warming. They don't mention the most significant greenhouse gas of all, water vapor. Water vapor is thought to represent about 90% of the greenhouse warming effect of all the gases on Earth. Uh, it may be as high as 95% uh, with high water vapor percentages. Uh, water vapor can vary greatly from near zero in the arid climates in the deserts and as also across Antarctica, which happens to be our driest continent. Um, it may be as low as 65% uh, contribution in those very dry areas, but again, up to 95% uh, with higher water vapor percentages. In fact, the role of water vapor is so important uh, to the greenhouse effect that uh, geologist G. Diedrich Robinson asserts that even a very small change in water vapor uh, can so affect the greenhouse effect as would a doubling of the CO2 concentration in the atmosphere. It's no more sensible or workable for governments to attempt to regulate the weather by declaring CO2 to be a pollutant than it would be for them to try and regulate water vapor or declare it to be a pollutant. Downplaying or disregarding water vapor or assigning too large a magnitude to water vapor feedback mechanisms uh, serves to overemphasize man's contribution to greenhouse warming. And that's likely the reason that the role that water vapor plays in greenhouse warming is regularly ignored.